Hey, Jared here with Current Performance Wiring. Today we've got a Holly Terminator Max ECU hooked up on the bench, powered up with an LS3 GM throttle body, LS3 GM pedal. Following the instructions with the Holly wiring harness, we are not cutting or modifying. We are simply going to show how we can switch out the harness, switch out the pedal, switch out different components, and still have electronic throttle functioning even with all sorts of different setups. So we're going to start here with as is LS3 pedal, LS3 throttle body. We've already done our system setup. We're going to cut power. We are going to unplug the LS3 pedal. We are now going to plug in. This is an NBS truck pedal, uh, say 03 to 07 early. Our sub harness that simply plugs into the Holly system. We're going to power back up. Throttle blade does a cycle. Going to get our screen going. We're going to jump right into our wizard. TPS auto set. Start. When we hit start, the blade is going to go through a cycle. The ECU is learning the blade function. Now it's asking us to move the pedal so that it can learn the pedal signal. So we're going to do one, two, Per the instructions in the auto set, we're going to hit next. TPS was successful. Done. Now we have just learned the NBS truck pedal and everything operates just as it should. Now this will show you works with different throttle bodies. We have 8-pin truck throttle body. We have 6-pin truck throttle body. We have an old LS1 Corvette throttle body. We've got Colorado pedal, Trailblazer pedal. And what we're going to do is we're going to plug in some different throttle bodies, different pedals, using different harnesses, and show you how all of them can work by just doing the TPS auto set, and the ECU will learn whatever electronics you have plugged in.